Morning. Good morning. Time to wake up. The sun is out. Come now. That's it. You must be exhausted. Rest a while longer if you like. I must say, it was a shock to hear you intend to deal with those scoundrels who set fire to the town. We're counting on you, though. If there's anything I can do to help, just say the word. Uh, Inkeep, who are these scoundrels who set the town on fire? Hmm? <laughs> You must be still half asleep. The Knights of the Eternian Sky, of course. A cruel lot, to be sure. The Knights of the Eternian Sky? Are they back? Back? Well, anyway, uh, you've got the whole town behind you. Uh, right. Oh, how is Egil doing? Egil? Who might that be? Huh? Uh, I left a pot on the fire. I'll let you get some more rest. I guess I was dreaming. Entrusting Eagle to the innkeep's care. Awakening the four crystals. <laughs> Led by Airy to the Holy Pillar. The airship rocking violently. Attacked by the Dark Knight, Alternus Dim. <sighs> that was no dream! Indeed. I still have blisters from gripping the railing as the airship shook. Then why are we here? This is Caldisla, right? We were at the Holy Pillar. What happened to us, Ari? Did we seal the Great Chasm? Uh... I... um... Sorry, I don't really know. What? Are they up yet, Father? Oh, it's you, Owen. Yes, they're all awake now. Good. I wish I could go along with them. You've got to stay here and protect the king. Stay alert now. I'll see you later. That was Owen! How can that be? Oh my. Perhaps we are dreaming. Wait. Uh, let me get this straight. Who could have set the town on fire? It doesn't seem likely the Knights of the Eternian Sky have come back to attack it again. If Owen is here, I think it could be that black mage, Ominous. So we must be remembering what happened back then in a dream. That makes sense. But I wasn't with you here when this took place. I was serving under Ominous Crow, remember? Huh, you're right. I have no idea what is going on. Uh. <gasps> the sea! It is still tainted! What? But we awakened the water crystal! Something is wrong! Let's split up and get to the bottom of this! No!
So you came too, Agnes? Yes. What on earth is happening, Eri? We unleashed the Holy Pillar's light across the world. The great chasm should be gone, but here it is. Uh, I'm not too sure myself. But take a look at this. Uh, the four points of light. Yeah, my brooch has lost its glow. The sea is tainted too. We seem to be right back before the crystals were awakened. This is where we first began. The place we met. But some things are different from back then. Huh? We have grown closer for one. Do you not agree? Yes. We've been through a lot together. We can do this again if it comes to it. Of course. It is no good. No one remembers. Huh? You mean the fire set by the Black Mage? No, not that. I was only in this town a short while, but I met many fine women during my sojourn. These were exciting, passionate encounters. Yet no one seems to remember them. <sighs> Idea would say you had a one-track mind if she heard that. And I would agree with her. Uh, you are right. Let us keep this between us. But is it not strange? They did not merely forget our meeting. They were unaware of my existence. It is as if the whole town is playing a prank on me. I saw the face of that dark knight ring a bell. He looked like... Yes, I saw it too. I'm not ready to confront that particular matter yet, though. Has any of your memory returned? <clears throat> hey, ring a bell. I've talked with Agnes. We think we might as well just start again from the beginning. Start again? Go on another journey to awaken the crystals? The sea is tainted once more. I would like to check on the crystals. Very well, then. Count me in. I'll get to meet all the women of the world again, with a clean slate. Oh, what more could a man want? You're taking this well. Uh. Idea! Oh, there you are. It's strange, isn't it? I don't want to believe that everything we've done up to now was just a dream. I went as far as betraying my homeland and my father to follow this path. It was no dream. I remember your struggles. But... Does it not seem that my circumstances here are unique? At first I thought time had merely been wound back. I don't know whether it's a side effect of the darkness being cleansed, or whether some powerful magic was accidentally triggered, but it doesn't add up. Why am I here with you now? I wouldn't worry about that. You are not the only one for whom things don't make sense. If time had been turned back, there are things that would not add up for me either. I spent close to a week here, yet all memory of me has been erased from the women. Uh, people of the town. Really? Don't think too hard about it now. There are too many unanswered questions. All the more reason for us to start again from scratch, I think. From scratch? Let us make for the Crystal Temples. I see. Okay, I'll do it. I've come this far. I might as well stick around. First, let's go back to the inn and compare notes. When we go to the Crystal Temples, will you perform the Rite of Awakening again? Ares' brooch seems to show that the crystals are no longer awakened. The Rite must be performed. Do you have your Vestal garb? 
It was safely stored among our belongings. Along with that Bravo bikini. Huh? How do you know about that? Anyway, the existence of these items is more evidence that this is no mere warping of time. We obtained both the Vestal Garb and the Bravo Bikini after going to Ansha. It doesn't make sense for us to have them now. The clock has not simply been wound back, it seems. <gasps> What's that? Everyone down! Is it the Great Chasm? It could be the Attorney and Sky Knights attacking! It's Dex! We'll all be! What are you doing here, Dex? Ah, there you are. This was the right place. Hold up. So you know who we are, Dex? What? Of course I do. What are you talking about? Well, uh, how do I explain? Oh, are Zats and the Tavern Proprietress with you? Yeah, they're both fine. They're on the airship. Airship? Right. We have the Echelot all loaded up as well. We found ourselves on the deck all of a sudden, up in the skies to the east of the kingdom. So, uh, what exactly is going on? This is good news. Let's head for Grandship right away then. Hmm, something bizarre is happening, that's for sure. If I didn't know better, I'd say we were hallucinating. I'm just happy that good old Drunken Pig and you lot are both fine. It's good to have a woman on our side at a time like this. <laughs> With Dats and Zats here, we can be certain we haven't gone back in time, no? Perhaps time started going backwards for those of us there at the Holy Pillar. In that case, where are our past selves from this point in time? I haven't a clue. No point trying to work this out logically. Let's start by doing what we can. Right, Agnes? We're lucky to have Grandship. It should be a quick flight to the Crystal Temples. Well, let's head to one of the temples and see what is up. Leave the piloting to me. Look! The crystal has reverted to its pre-awakened state. Do you know the cause of this, Aerie? The crystals have never been awakened before, so I knew it this too. But you are a Christ fairy, right? Yes. But that doesn't mean I know everything. Should we perform the Rite of Awakening? I think so. Wait, something lurks nearby. Ah, oh, that's Arthros, the bringer of doom! So the creature is back as well. We'll just have to defeat them again! <sighs> oh, that was rough. I don't remember that being as hard last time. Ah, oh, I thought the same. Hurry up and awaken the crystal before we are beset by more beasts! Of course. I'm ready, Eri. I know you've done this four times already, but do you have any questions? Time to get started, Agnes. Are you ready? Yes. Let us begin. You did it! You awakened the crystal! Well done, Agnes! <sighs> Have you checked your brooch, Jerry? Yes, the wind crest is lit! <sighs> Phew. Good. Are you okay, Agnes? Yes. I'm used to it now. 
I need a short rest, but then we should head to the next temple. Okay. Oh, look at your vestal garb, Agnes. It's all threadbare. Huh? Oh, what should we do? It has seen a lot of use of late. Let's go and ask the sage to repair it. Huh? Ah, oh, I thought I heard something. This place draws few visitors, I fear. And who might you be? I am Agnes Oblige, Vessel of the Wind. Ho oh, ho! Little Agnes, is it? My! How you have grown, child. You were scarce more than a little sprout when your predecessor brought you here. Now look at you, a fine woman you've become. <laughs> Why the long face? If there is anything this feeble old man can do for you, name it. He hasn't changed a bit. Sage, Agnes's Vestal Garb has become threadbare. Oh, her Vestal Garb, you say? Let me take a closer look. Hmm. Yes, this should be easy to patch up. Sage, do you remember me at all? Hmm? Yes, I remember you well. This is the third time, after all. But perhaps you might call it the first. Still, I remember you all too well. The third time? What, what do you... Of course. Let me put it this way. Which world are you from, Agnes? <gasps> what? <sighs> well, you'd better come inside. Now then, I was about to pour some tea for us. But I fear this may not be the time for sitting quietly with a hot brew. Sage. Are you aware I was a founder of the organization that became the Duchy of Eternia? Yes. Then you know of Lord De Rosso? Uh, we do. And are you familiar with the circumstances that led Lord De Rosso and me to build that organization? No. No? Hmm, I see. Then my counterpart in your world has been very lax. He has left me in an awkward position. Still, he is me, so I must shoulder some blame. Not to worry. Well then, Agnes? Huh. Yes. You must decide who is your most trustworthy ally. Then travel to the nearby cave with them. You will find it to the southwest of here. Once inside, I will tell you all I know. I will also give you your vestal garb there. You should understand your situation better once we are done. I shall go on ahead. I would advise you to heed my words. You must bring only one ally with you. Your other companion should wait outside the cave. I shall see you soon. It's 
seems the Sage knows something of our predicament. But why can only two of us go? Who knows what that old man is thinking? Who do you think I should choose? Well, I guess... You have to make your own choice, Arnyas. Remember the Sage's words. You have to decide who you trust most, Arnyas. Do I count as well? I'm going with Anya's either way. Wait, I think it should be me. You need a man who knows how to look after a woman. I would die for you, Agnes. <sighs> of course, I would die for you too, Idea. So I play second fiddle to her, huh? Whatever. The jealousy of a woman spurned is so endearing. Oh, shut up, ring a bell. I'm not jealous at all. As calm as ever, I see. It would have been nice to see you blush, at least. What am I to do? Uh, like I said, just make the decision yourself, Agnes. <laughs> uh, what? Nothing. Can I see you outside, Tiz? Huh? Oh, sure. Hey, don't mess up, lover boy. What? Stop giving me a hard time. What about me? <sighs> so, uh, what is it? Do you remember what I said to you right around the time we met, Tiz? I said I would like you to join me. Uh, yes, I remember. And you have stayed at my side this whole time, through journeys far and wide. So, I think, I would like you to be the one to come with me. Will you do it? I feel the same. Huh? I remember the promise I made. I'll never forget it. Not till my dying day. I've come this far with you. I've stuck with you until now. You will always be a ray of hope to me. Tis. So... Uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is... I'd be honored to go with you. <sighs> Thank you. It seems I have come to trust you more than any other since that day. Tis a shame, Agnes. But Tis has a kind heart. And I know he will take good care of you. That, I guarantee. Tiz, I am counting on you to escort Agnes with the utmost care. I don't think he needs any advice from you, ring a bell. It's not fair! I thought I was your perfect partner, Agnes! And now you're leaving me behind? <laughs> How could you? After all we've been through! I am sorry, Airy. I hope you can understand. Stop acting like a brat and give them a proper seeing off, Airy. Go on, get going already. We'll be back soon. Take your time. There you are. Ah. So this is the one you have chosen. I envy him. You make a fine pair. Were I a thousand eight hundred and eighty years younger, I would gladly have taken your hand in his stead, I guess. A thousand eight hundred and eighty? Yeah, yeah. Uh, beside that, please tell what you know. That is why we have come to you, Sage. Do 
you understand what I meant when I said it was the first time we had met? <clears throat> you are not originally of this world. That is why we meet for the first time. Yes. Sage, earlier you said this may be the third time we have come in contact. What did you mean by that? Your only memory of me is when you were brought here by the previous Vestal. Correct, Agnes? That's right. I came with the Mother Vestal and Olivia when I was but a young girl. However, I have met another who looked exactly as you do now. What? It was a very long time ago. More than 1,800 years, in fact. 1,800 years? Just how old are you, Sage? Me? I have lived almost 1,900 years. 1,900 years? No cause for surprise. Lord De Rosso is 500 years my senior. We were once mortal enemies, he and I. I was High Inquisitor of the Crystal Orthodoxy. He was an immortal who led those seeking to thwart us. We crossed swords on the field of battle dozens of times. In our final battle, the fighting went on for over a hundred days. A true struggle to the death. With both forces decimated, the two of us met in combat, each determined to land the killing blow or die trying. At that moment, an angel appeared before us. This wounded angel was a beautiful young woman who looked exactly like you, Agnes. Both Lord De Rosso and I were mesmerized, and before we knew it, we cast our swords aside and went to her aid. She had lost her light, and her wings were broken and severed. We knew she was beyond saving. We were only with the angel a short time. To Lord De Rosso and I, who mark our lives in centuries, it seemed little more than an instant now. But this moment changed both of our lives dramatically. With the last of her fading strength, she spoke to us. Of the crystal secrets and of their dangers. Dangers? I was a man of the cloth, and Lord De Rosso was one who opposed my religion. The truths we learned that day shook the very foundations of all we had both believed in. What did the angel tell you? The crystals have existed since well before both the orthodoxy and the old faith. The Vestals do not draw the favor of the crystals by right. This title was merely given by those of the faith to ones who had this gift. Originally, it was thought that mankind should not come in contact with the crystals. Attitudes towards the crystals only changed among the people after the teachings of crystallism spread. What do you mean that we should not come in contact with them? Unleashing the power of the crystals without due care can destroy the borders, opening the door to the harrowing. There have been warnings about this since before recorded history. The angel confirmed there was truth to these warnings. What is this? I have spent the last 1,800 years trying to find out, but as yet, I am still in the dark. Mm -hmm. 
The true nature of the harrowing is shrouded in mystery. Is the great chasm that opened in Kaldisla not the harrowing? The great chasm is merely an omen of it. It was one of the events the angel spoke of. I cannot say if the harrowing results from the great chasm opening up, drawing in darkness, then spewing it forth, or it may point to the tainting of the seas, the wind stopping, the volcanoes erupting. In a previous world, we awakened the four crystals and calmed the fury of nature. Then we summoned the holy pillar to close the great chasm. Hmm. You may have acted in the belief that what you did would help. However... However? The path you have taken to this point aligns perfectly with the path to the harrowing prophesied by the angel. The path to the harrowing? Do you plan to awaken the crystals again? If so, you would do well to heed what I have said. Always question how the actions you take will affect the world around you. We will. Thank you for hearing me out. It is a remarkable resemblance, Agnes. You and the angel. Speaking with you has brought the memories of 1800 years ago back as vividly as if they were yesterday. Sage. <laughs> At this rate, I shall be compelled to clasp you to my breast and plant a kiss upon your lips. I shall now set forth on a journey. You have filled me with the passion of youth for the first time in many years. Uh... Why do you look upon me with such a piteous gaze? I may have lived 1900 years, but I am not ready to lay down and die yet. You two youngsters should go back to your friends. Here, I have repaired your Vestal Guard. Thank you, Sage. Thank you very much. Of course. I wish you good health, Agnes. Think of the sage's story, Tiz? To be honest, I'm even more confused than before. I have to agree. I get the feeling he has not told us the full story. But why would he leave us in the dark? He either did so for good reason, or because there was something he was unwilling to share. <sighs> either way, he sure is an old lech, huh? You are not wrong there. Anyway, let's go meet up with the others. There they are! Sorry for the wait. That old fart hasn't filled your head with strange thoughts, has he, Agnes? No need to worry, Eri. Agnes had Tiz to look after her after all. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you two are quite the pair. I envy you. That's what the sage said. Did he now? I am not surprised. He and I did have a few things in common, to be sure. That's enough out of you, Ringabel. What is this light? The holy pillar? It must be! Let us head there again, Agnes!
This time, we must ensure we seal the great chasm and cleanse evil from the world! Yes, I know. We cannot fail again. <sighs> the light is blinding. It is rather overwhelming. So we must enter the light again, it seems. It almost stings the skin, don't you think? Yes, I feel the same. Grim and bear it! We must succeed this time! Okay, I need to start meditating so I can focus. Don't bother me till I'm done. I'll make sure all goes to plan this time. A wondrous and beautiful first light! My brooch awaits your divine radiance! Airy is really giving it her all. She may feel responsible for things going awry last time. Can you make some notes in your journal, ring a bell? All right, I'll jot down anything that seems important. But I'm not sure how much I can do. Besides the piloting, there is one other problem. Hmm. Uh -huh. Yes, we'll have him to deal with when he comes. You mean we have to go through that again? Let us head to the deck! Alternus! Where is she? Who do you mean? Where is that peculiar fairy? You mean Airy? Airy? But why? Tell me where she is, now! Just what do you intend to do to her? Slay her, of course! Once she is gone, this will end! Do not try to stop us! How could you betray the Grand Marshal? Your own father! Can you not see the grief you have caused? It is always the same with you. You never listen to me! You and my father have done nothing but stand in my way. When you shattered the Sky Stone on the Echelot, when we entered the Eternian Central Command, you hindered us at every step! How can I understand without a word of explanation? For mercy's sake, tell us the whole story! Oh. You? Alternus? Who are you? What? You are not Idea! I don't... Uh... Oh, it's shaking! You... You are all trying to deceive me! Stand aside, cowardly fools! Or your blood shall soak this dark blade! We were worried. Uh, uh. The ship is pitching deep. Can you take the wheel, ring a bell? Y yes, I'm fine. Then let's hurry back to the bridge. My 
memory seems to have returned. Ah, uh, I see now. All is clear. Hold on to something, everyone! Ring a bell! I'm trying! She won't come around! It has to work! 